welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, so as promised in this video, we're going to talk about Reiki. What is Reiki and why did I do the course? <laughs> Actually, I've done three courses, to be honest, of Reiki. I found it so fascinating the first time and then I felt in my heart that there was a different way of doing it, a different way of being it. And that's when I stumbled upon the third course, which I am going to mention all through. Okay, so you can choose whichever one you want to start with. If this is something you feel drawn towards, if you're really feeling like it's pulling you and saying, yes, come do this. So Reiki is Japanese. Okay, and it was put together by Dr. Usui. And I'm not going to do a big course on it because there are courses already out there. But Reiki means universal life force energy. I know, right? Such a short word and it means in English all these big words. <laughs> so Reiki is universal, okay, universe, life force energy. And as soon as I heard that definition in my heart, I felt that's God straight away. Reiki is not a religion. It's just a teaching. It's a way of life, right? But as soon as I heard that definition, I thought, oh, that is what God is. Universal life force energy that is in everything, in everyone. It's everywhere, right? It holds it all together universal life force energy so beautiful so intelligent so elegant you know so that was the definition and as soon as i heard the definition i was hooked then came the five principles now my understanding from the reiki course the very first one that i did is that reiki is for everyone because the universal life force energy is in everyone it belongs to everyone it's not to an exclusive group of people that are spiritual or do a lot of meditation or whatever right whatever ideas you have about reiki okay reiki belongs to everyone because this energy is in everyone it's in everything okay with this beautiful reiki you learn five principles and this i fell in love with these five principles as well i feel in my heart if everybody could live by these five principles the world would be at peace instantly principle number one do not be angry when we're angry what are we focusing on do not be angry you're angry because of something that's happened in the past and you're still attached to that event and so every time something comes up that reminds you of your attachment to that event the anger builds up so do not be angry it means make peace with your past whatever it is in your past that makes you angry make peace with it resolve it heal it for your own soul, for your own spirit, for your own peace. Heal it. And that's what all these videos are for, right? All the books, everything we're here for is to heal that beautiful past that has all those hidden messages for you, all those hidden gifts. And no one teaches us that, right? Well, there's very few people out there actually that do focus on teaching us that. But there's so few, you know? So... Do not be angry. That means we're focusing on something in the past. Do not be angry. Stay present. Be in this present moment. That's principle number one. Principle number two, do not worry. When do we worry? When we're in the future, in a future event and we're worried. How are we going to pay for that bill? Are we going to lose the house because we can't make the repayments? Is something bad going to happen to one of our children? How many parents have had these images of bad things happening to our children? Worry. It's always about something in the future. It's not in this moment right here, right now. 
again, do not worry, stay present. Number three, be grateful. When we are grateful in our hearts, we are definitely present and we are grateful for what we have right here, right now. Gratitude is about accepting what you have and knowing that it is what you need in your life right now, in this moment. This is what you need to have right now. No matter what it is, it is what you are meant to be experiencing in this moment of your life right now. Gratitude. Be grateful. You have a life. Be grateful you are here. Be grateful we can experience this beautiful world. It's magic. It is an absolute miracle that we are here experiencing this beautiful journey called life. Be grateful. Number three. Number four. Work with diligence. For me, this one is also be present. Whatever you are working on, do it with diligence is number four. Whatever you're working on. And what that means to me is that whatever you're working on, your full attention needs to be on it. Not you're doing your job and your mind is wandering off to, oh, the holiday that you booked in six months time. Or you're, you know, wandering off to what you're doing this weekend when you have a task at hand right in front of you right now. Be present to what is in front of you right here, right now. Be diligent in the work you are doing in this moment. That's how I interpret number four. And number five, which is in every, it's the baseline of pretty much every religion on earth, right? Be kind. Be kind to every living thing. Be kind. Five principles. Imagine if every human being on the planet wasn't angry, didn't worry, was grateful, worked with diligence, paying full attention to what is in front of them. Be present. And five, being kind to every living thing. Don't tell me the world wouldn't be a better place if everyone adopted those beautiful five principles and understood that the beautiful universal life force energy called Reiki is in everything and everyone. And when you understand that, when you know it in your heart, you respect every living thing and every single person on the planet because you know that that beautiful divine energy that's in you is also in that person it's also in that tree it's also in that bird it's in the sun in the stars in your children in your husband in your wife in your parents in your grandparents this beautiful divine energy is in everything I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.